about your identity crisis. Tell me about your identity crisis. This made me question my own challenges of who I am now and who I want to become. And you've walked to the bathroom, you've flipped on the light, and you've stared at yourself in the mirror. Embracing the identity struggle leads to more authenticity. We can unplug from the voices of everyone else, the social construct, and start to hear the hum of the truth. It's the voice inside that says, man, when I do this, I feel alive. I feel free. And then that voice asks, who am I? What it is is a big question, who am I? And most of you will be prone to ask that question at this time in your life. But today I'm gonna say, don't ask that question. As I started to learn to stand in my own truth, I realized that I was an identity crisis waiting to happen. I want you to think like an artist. I want you to think like a creator. I want you to ask the question, who do I want to be? Or why don't I do this for a living? See, that question starts something in yourself, a, a movement forward, a movement away, but also towards the becoming. Who are you? Who are you? Do you know how hard it is to explain who you are when you're still trying to figure it out yourself? I had to call 10 of my friends. Hey, 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 how would you describe me? I felt the pressure of having the, to have all the right answers. Instead, I started focusing on asking the right questions. But I came, as many of you do, dressed in the expectations of my parents, and my friends, and my family, and my teachers, and the community, and everyone that loved me and raised me and wanted what was best for me. But what they thought was best for me was usually what they knew and what they had experienced, the map they'd already drawn. And that me that I saw when I looked in the mirror was really just a reflection of all of those eyes as they'd watched me grow up. Seeing me not necessarily how I was, but as they wanted to see me. To be the definition of a man. I always have to achieve the best result in everything I do. You fit into a bubble that I can't escape. Be enough. And I realized that I was not just the hero of my story, but I was the hero of his story. And how important my life was to him. And it was touching. But I realized that it wasn't my own life yet. Who am I? Who am I? Ooh. 
I really don't like my voice popping on here, but <laughs> you are going to hear me out. By embracing the identity struggle, we can find out more about our own selves. We can create a future without having all the right answers. And we can unplug from the noise, the social construct, and start to hear the hum of our own truth. We can keep growing, keep embracing your identity struggle, and keep showing up in a messy part of authenticity. Many voices can come together around one thing and harmonize into a large identity conversation. There is power in finding out who we truly are. I love me, and likewise, you should love yourself too. So, run for cover, mother. What's happening? Oh. Can I not get my drink? That's right. Shake your ass till it stinks. That's right. Yeah. Mr. Moe's on the beat. That's right. Put it down for the street. That's right. Your voice. Scream. My voice is lost. Can I get a ride on a white horse? 